Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a Putnam problem from 1963. So we're going to find for which integer values a does x squared minus x plus a divide x to the power 13 plus x plus 90. So a is an integer and we want to make sure that the quadratic divides the 13th degree polynomial. All right. So let's go ahead and write this as an equation x to the power 13 plus x plus 90 can be written as x squared minus x plus a multiply by some polynomial q of x. Now, to find out the possible a values, we're going to replace x with certain values. So it would make sense to use 0 and 1 here because we have x times x minus 1 plus a. That is our divisor. So let's go ahead and start uh, with x equals 0, for example. If x is equal to 0 on both sides, then we get 90 equals a times q of 0. If x is equal to 1, then we get 1 plus 1 plus 90, which is 92, equals a times q of 1. But I do need another value, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. And that is going to be, I want to use negative 1 because it's kind of easy. And it's also going to help us. If you replace x with negative 1, uh, it's going to help us here. Uh, negative 1 minus 1, uh, that's going to give us 88. And then the right-hand side is going to be negative 1 squared, which is 1 plus 1 plus a, which is 2 plus a multiplied by q of negative 1. Okay, great. So now we did get three equations, and we're going to be using some divisibility criteria with them. So the first two equations basically gives me the following. a divides 90. This is the notation that I use for divides from now on. a is an integer, divides 90, and a also divides 92. Now what does this tell you? If a divides x and a divides y, obviously it also divides their linear combination. And we can basically look at it as a difference. So if a divides both of these numbers, it also divides their difference which is 2 in this case. So we now know that a divides 2, which is very important, because from here we only get four options. a can be negative 1, 1, negative 2, or positive 2. So those are the candidates for a, and we're going to test each one. And you also need to consider the fact that the third equation gives us additional criteria, and that is a plus 2 divides 88. Now, when you look at these values, for example, if a is equal to negative 1, we're good. If a is equal to 1, we're not good because we get something like 3 divides 88. Obviously, this is false because 3 doesn't divide 88, so 1 is not going to be valid. If a is equal to negative 2, then we get something like 0 divides 88. Again, that's not valid either, so negative 2 is not going to work either. So we have two possible values. a can be negative 1 or positive 2. Let's go ahead and test each one. So if a is equal to negative 1, let's see what happens. So my polynomial becomes x squared minus x minus 1 divides x to the power 13 plus x plus 90. Obviously, this is something you can check with long division, but as the name suggests, it is very long. So we're going to do something else. We're going to be using the fact that the first polynomial, the quadratic, has a positive root because of Vieta's formulas or some other reason you can find. So this first polynomial has a positive root, but the second one, notice that it has all positive coefficients, so it cannot have a positive root. So the second equation does not have a positive root. What is that supposed to mean? They can't have a common root. Therefore, it's not going to work. So a equals negative 1 is not going to be valid. Okay, great. So let's take a look at the second uh, possibility, a equals 2. So in this case, we're claiming that x squared minus x plus 2 divides x to the power 13 plus x plus 90. Since this is the only a value that we're left with, it should work. But how do you check that, right? So let's go ahead and uh, we can check uh, using long division. But again, long division is going to be very time consuming. So I'm going to show you how we can check that quickly. You can definitely do long division or some other um, tool you can use. And I'm also going to be sharing a link with you that shows you a very, very long solution to this problem. Okay, so let's see what happens. So suppose r is a common root, right? So we're basically saying that what happens if r squared minus r plus 2 is equal to 0? 
So from here, I'm going to show you that uh, this polynomial divides the second one. Okay. So this implies that r squared can be written as r minus 2. And that's the equation I'm going to be using all the time. So let's go ahead and find out what r to the fourth power is going to look like. Obviously, it's going to be r squared squared. So I can write it as negative r minus 2 quantity squared. And that is equivalent to, as you know, r plus, oops, that should be an r plus r minus 2 squared. All right, so this is going to look like r squared minus 4r plus 4. And then now replace r squared with r minus 2 again. And we're going to keep doing this. So from here, we're going to get r to the fourth as negative 3r plus 2. So this allows you to write r to the fourth power in terms of r. But we want to get to the 13th power. So let's go ahead and square this again to get r to the eighth power. And r to the eighth power is obtained by squaring this. And that is equal to 9r squared minus 12r plus 4. Again, replace r squared with r minus 2. And you can write r to the 8th in terms of r. 9r minus 12r is going to be negative 3r. Negative 18 plus 4 is going to be negative 14 or minus 14. Okay, so this is the value of r to the 8th power. But I'd like to get to the 12th, so I don't want to square this, but I want to multiply r to the 8th by r to the 4th. So it's going to look like this, negative 3r minus 14, multiply by r to the 4th, which is negative 3r plus 2. Great. Let's go ahead and distribute and get r to the power 12 from here. We get 9r squared minus 6r plus 42r. 42 minus 6 is going to give you for uh, negative 36, right? Uh, so that's going to be uh, 42, let's see, negative 3r minus 14. And then when we multiply 9r squared minus 6r plus 42r, so let's go ahead and expand it, minus 6r plus 42r minus 28. And this should give us 9r squared plus 36r minus 28. Now I'm going to replace r squared with r minus 2 again. And let's see what we get from here. I'm getting 9r plus 36r, which is 45r. And then minus 18 minus 28, that should give me minus 46. Okay, this is r to the power 12. And I would like to get r to the power 13. And you can get that by multiplying this by r. And that's going to give me 45r squared minus 46r. And if you replace r squared with r minus 2 again, we just got to keep doing this. We're going to be able to get r to the power 13 from here as 45r minus 46r, which is negative r minus 90. And this means that r to the power 13 plus r plus 90 is equal to 0, which means that the first polynomial divides the second polynomial. Okay, great. So as I said earlier, I'm going to share a link with you that shows you a very, very long way to solve this problem. But what happens if you divide and use long division to, uh, you know, uh, find the answer, the quotient? Uh, you're going to be getting something like this. And remember, we are dividing a 13 degree polynomial by x squared minus x plus 2. The second one is going to be x to the power 11 plus x to the 10 minus x to the 9 minus 3x to the 8th, minus x to the 7, plus 5x to the 6th, plus 7x to the 5th, minus 3x to the 4th, minus 17x cubed, minus 11x squared, so it's not going to fit there, plus 23x, plus 45. And this product is going to give you x to the power 13 plus x plus 90. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.